Well, my name is Ellie Letterhandler, and uh, I've written a book called American Jewelry, A New History. Um, it's a comprehensive or general survey of um, the history of Jewish people who have been living in America since colonial times, taking it up to the present day. Well, uh, one, one uh, reason is that it's a burgeoning field of specialization. There are more and more, especially younger scholars um, in the universities in the States as well as abroad who are producing more and more specialized studies uh, in this field. And that means that every so often you have to have a, talk, a stock taking to summarize uh, what's been done in recent years and to suggest a new research agenda. So that's part of what I would, was trying to do with an eye on the field itself. The other part is directed more towards the general reader uh, where, where what I think I was trying to do was to convey something that goes a bit against the grain of the way I think American Jews are often perceived um, and to suggest some things about the difference of Jews in America that may not be visible to the naked eye, as it were, and to explain that difference. The discourse of diversity in the United States is sometimes reduced to a sort of black and white or majority versus minority model where there are only two positions, as it were, on, on the spectrum. Um, and here in this particular case, as in several comparable cases that, that uh, come to mind, uh, we have a group um, who don't conform necessarily entirely to the majority society uh, in various ways, certainly by religion, but maybe in other ways as well, politically, socially, economically. Uh, and yet at the same time, they don't belong in a sequestered uh, category of being completely other. Um, there's some sort of a uh, play between these two positions and opening up the theoretical space between minority history and majority history is something that uh, I'm aiming to express. Well, there are Jews living in America, but Jews have been living in lots of other places for a long, long time, going back two and a half thousand years. So uh, there's a sense in which Jews, not all Jews, but Jews who um, retain a sort of self-awareness or self-consciousness of their own heritage and culture, have an awareness that they or their ancestors have come from somewhere else. Now that's true of pretty much any immigrant group, and that generally lasts for about a generation, sometimes two generations. In the Jewish case, what's, uh, what I found fascinating was that American Jews, sometimes second, third, and fourth generation or more, seem to retain a vital interest in what's going on uh, with Jews in other countries. Um, far beyond what you would expect um, in the case of, let's say, immigrant families who retain a family tie to relatives who are still living in the old country. This is a different case. The ties get expressed by uh, the setting up of organizations, programs, transfer of funds, knowledge, culture. Uh, it's a transnational network of activity that goes on uh, within the framework of what we would call the, the general American Jewish community. And I focused in the book on three specific case studies in which that was true. Uh, giving the, in the cases of Spain, Germany, and Russia as exemplifying this kind of transnational uh, perspective. And it is, I think, part of what makes Jews in America a bit different from most other ethnic or religious groups that you might think of. The other point is that American Jews, to the extent that they carry on this awareness of their own transnational history, from other places and other eras, 
um, they are in a sense defining their own place in history by saying, for example, Spain, Germany, and Russia were places where there were large and very creative Jewish societies for a very long time. And each one of them ended in one form or other of disaster. Um, when American Jews think about that and do things in relation to those other parts of the Jewish past, they're in a sense trying to say, well, where does America fit in to that line of large and creative Jewish diasporas? Is American Jewry going to be the uh, large diaspora community that dodges history's bullet, as it were? That, that makes it a success story. And they can only do that in, their, in terms of their own uh, sense of their place in history by comparing what their life is about to what has gone before. So it's essential to preserve a kind of a, a chain of memory. As I think both things are at play. You should read this book if you think you know what American Jews are like, and you should read this book if you have no idea who American Jews are.